Well, welcome back to Houston Life. It's time now for our H-Town sit down. All right, we're going to show you a picture of HPD Sergeant Kendrick Simpo. Back in February, he was working a second job when he put his life on the line. He was working security at the Galleria Shopping Mall when a man armed with a rifle and a handgun was reported near a children's event. Well, Sergeant Simpo jumped into action, tackling the man and disarming him. He's being called a hero, and we're happy to welcome Houston Police Sergeant Kendrick Simpo to our studio. It's great to meet you. Thanks for Thank being you for here. Having me. You know, I know we, a lot of people around the country, Houston, the globe, the story has really gone uh, viral. Call you a hero. Um, what's it like to hear that word and describing you and your actions that day? Um, it's kind of unreal. Um, I'm to the point where I've been, my family, friends have been sending me pictures and messages because of course I don't have social media so I don't get to see the comments and stuff but it's, it's cool. It's, I'm, I'm very happy for all the positive positivity that everybody's sending and just being a Houston police officer, you know, it makes me feel good that people are saying, hey, this is one cop that did good, did the right thing. And as a police officer, you work in the Victim Services Division. As we mentioned, though, you also work at the Galleria providing security. Tell us what happened that day, because even though we're all just hearing about this now, this happened back in February. Sure. Um, that day I was working at the Galleria Mall as my, my extra job. I was actually with one of the security officers, kind of hanging around the luxury area around Louis Vuitton and Burberry, and one of the actual security officers of the mall spotted the suspect coming into the mall around the Macy's area with a rifle, assault rifle. Um, she called it out over the air, and you can kind of tell in her voice she was pretty. She was scared. Um, voice was very pitched. So when we started asking where was he, she said he's by Macy's and he's going up the escalator. My initial thought was to try to hurry up and get there as quickly as possible. The funny thing that I tell people about this story was that the security officer that was with me, she's just a regular security officer. She wasn't a cop, but she came with me. Um, so we're going at, a, at a, a very quick pace. We're not necessarily running, but we're going trying to get to where he is. What I didn't realize was where I thought he was, he was actually closer to the hotel where there was a actual dance competition going on, where the majority of those kids were about 10, about 10 or younger um, in age um, doing a dance competition that they had at the Westin Galleria. At that time, um, the first thing I kind of saw on him, he had a very unique mask on. Um, while he was in the mall with the rifle. It was a leather mask with, with spikes on it. Um, if, if anybody knows the layout of the mall, um, going that way towards Macy, it's a long hallway mm -hmm. where there's no walls, barriers, there's nothing but the stores, which is glass. So there was really nothing I could get behind, you know, to try to make myself safe to have anything if he started shooting for me to protect myself. So I was pretty much out in the open um, during that time when I made contact with him. When I saw him, um, I didn't alert the security officer that was with me because I didn't want her to freak out because um, she, because I know, because I saw him with the gun at that time. Um, so I kind of didn't say anything to her um, and I really didn't bring a rouse to him either. I kind of still played off like I was just going to walk by him. As I got close to him, I quickly pushed the security guard officer out of the way, out of harm, danger, um, and I just grabbed him as quick as I could and um, grabbed the rifle. The only thing I can think of is when you grab it, you don't let go. Your life depends on it because if he gets a hold of it, you're pretty much, you're out, you're, you're, you're going to die. Um, and I just had that mindset I was going to fight. Regardless of how it ended, I was going to fight to the end. It, that story, and I know it seems like it took minutes but it was really seconds in all of these quick decisions. Mind you, the Galleria is bustling with the dance competition and hundreds of people walking around you. Did the alert happen uh, or did everybody just kind of stop and continue or did they even know what was going on? Yeah, um, initially, everybody didn't know what was going on. He was just walking. Um, he had a little fast pace um, as he was walking as when I was in court and they re-showed the video. I mean, his walk was, had a, he just had a scary walk to him as had well. As I look back, yes, he had a purpose. Um, but initially, as he was walking, passing where the, the dance competition was, people didn't pay attention because he had the gun so close to his side and he had baggy clothing on. 
you know, people didn't catch on until they saw me actually wrestling with them and then everybody started, you know, getting scared and trying to figure out where they can run and trying to grab their kids. Um, I kind of faintly remember the security people yelling to the kids, hey, get back into the, to the room, to the dance room. Um, even the security officer that was with me, when I pushed her, another young lady kind of grabbed her to try to keep her back, and it was a little uh, kiosk that she was trying to put her behind to get her safe. But like I say, my main focus, I was, I had tunnel vision. My main focus was to get a hold of that gun and try to take it from them, disarm them. Um, that was my main focus. I can imagine how scary that was. Listen, we're out of time. Before we let you go, though, your message to the public who's maybe alarmed hearing this story. Hey, just I appreciate everybody giving me the praise. You know, uh, even though I don't have social media, I definitely thank everybody. I've seen a lot of views, a lot of social media posting. I appreciate everybody, and I thank you. All right, Sergeant Sippo, we got to leave it there. Thanks so much uh, for your time, and thanks for keeping our community safer. Thank you. We do appreciate it.